Today's video I found here is a guy who was being pulled over by a cop for illegally parking. Wait a minute, how can you get pulled over like that for illegally parking? <laughs> Alright, welcome back again. We got a strip mall cop situation right here. And I just want to make a quick video about how bad the situation got here. I just want to put a disclaimer that I'm not a certified police officer, a lawyer, a PhD in criminology, or even the man himself, donut operator here. So grab yourself a donut and a glass of alcohol because you'll need that to beat your level 35 wife. And here we go. I found this video when a friend sent this to our group chat. The more I watch it, the more more worse it gets and yeah this video takes place in the hood of los angeles the equivalent to the bronx the equivalent to inglewood chicago the equivalent to the entire city of detroit compton even though that's really separate of to los angeles i think and the cops pull up to this dude saying that he parked illegally like how like yeah yeah that's true like, you're not wrong, he's stationed in a spot that he's not supposed to be in, but he's still in his car. You could've just told him to move, and that could've been the end of the story right there. And like he said, he was waiting for his ma or something, that's what I heard from it. If anything, he can simply move his car somewhere else, like I, like I just said. Roll down the window. What's up, bro? Okay, you're just parked illegally, that's it. On February 9th, two LAPD officers drove up to a car parking illegally on Manchester Avenue near Figueroa Street. That's where they encountered the suspect, Travis Elster of Compton. Can you turn off the car for me? I'll go over here for you, sir. Turn off the car for me? Let me move the car. No, just park it, leave it here, okay? All right, so first you tell him that he's apparently parked illegally, and then you tell him that he should just park and leave his vehicle there? Where's the logic in that? Like, okay, okay, okay. I know that when you get pulled over, you will get pulled over in places that are technically illegal to park, or like inconvenient places in general, and they will handle the situation there. But I don't know if there's truly anything against moving towards a safe spot for traffic to flow or cars can pull out of the driveway, but he was offering to move his car. And if they were going to talk to him because he was parked illegally, why did they have to have multiple cops by the man? I mean, hey, it could be because it's Compton, it's dangerous out there, but either way, if he tries to escape, you have a backup plan. Why was and the other cop in his car in case if he escapes let alone why were there multiple cops to begin with like i don't like pulling the race card in general but if this was a white dude this situation probably would have never happened hey, hey. america sure loves its fair share of guns this backup plan not only didn't work, but this cop here was endangering the public as well, shooting their firearm at traffic like they could have killed someone else that wasn't even involved in the situation. A random day-by-day -day civilian. And if they did kill someone, who knows, maybe they will say that it was a gang member or something. I know that as a cop, things will happen really fast, like you will not know what to do instantly in a situation, or some people have like implicit biases toward a particular group of people. But to be honest, they should have at least shot the tires, and perhaps arrest him for fleeing the scene or something like that. I don't know the right terminology for that, but either way, I think this is a stupid reason to pull over someone once again. They could have just told them just move in the first place. Desmond Shaw picked up the end of the pursuit at a nearby mall. It was actually a short pursuit with an assault with a deadly weapon suspect, and it came to an end with him running into a discount store here. Now they are calling him an assault with a deadly weapon suspect. If I have to be honest, it is at most attempted manslaughter or more appropriately negligence because I feel like the guy panicked in this situation and his instinct probably told him to floor it and it was not 100% aware that there was a cop in front of him. A security camera from inside the store captures the suspect running in wearing a black hoodie, going to the back of the store just several feet from a security guard, changing clothes, and then walking back out, this time wearing a red sports jersey. I'll be honest with one thing. His sneak skills, perhaps, um, 50 at best. It was smooth when he walked into a Burlington or whatever he walked into and swapped clothes with something that does not look like what he was currently wearing. But the security guard saw everything, and he probably told the cops where he was. But I find it funny, at tier towards the end of the video, at the end of the day, they were still waiting for him, and somehow they did not catch the guy. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> they had one job. <laughs> They're like this is like this is like a real life GTA situation. Like if you just simply hide, you'll just your your star rating will just simply go down. And my final thoughts on this, well, it does look fishy at first. It looks like he was doing something that he shouldn't. But at the same time, if he was doing something that he shouldn't be doing, I feel like the cop should have just told him straight up instead of just pulling that illegal parking excuse. Okay, but honestly, this situation should have never happened to begin with. My mind is still boggling to whether how in the world can you be pulled over for illegally 
illegally parking. They can just tell the man to move. If this was a white dude, this situation would have turned out differently or, or, or better yet, this situation would have never happened at all. This is why I personally think that the requirement for being a cop should be four years of university or even similar as a judge as a lawyer. I know it will be a different situation if you came from the military. I would bring it down to two years perhaps in that situation. But the fact that judges and lawyers spend years study the law but officers to enforce it in six months. Barbers, barber school lasts longer than the police academy because apparently hair is more important than one's life. Uh -huh. Like I said, I'm not a cert certified criminologist. This is just what I, what I see. So don't take my word for it. But this, hey, it's nice to get your opinion out. And as long as it's civilized in this desert of a YouTube channel, I don't care what your opinion is as long as you don't start a witch hunt. Just when I was about to finish this video, I even saw that 9-11 dispatchers, why am I saying 9-11? 911 operators have to have more training than police officers. I feel like I would be more likely to trust a 911 operator more than a police officer in my, because like, because in my eyes, they make it look like they're applying for a position for a hall monitor, but they're looking for someone who played for the high school football team to do the job. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I don't hate cops in general, but some of them in some situations and sometimes towards certain groups, it just gets a little out of hand. I guess that will be the end of it. If you like the video, subscribe, I guess. And yeah, don't forget to press that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.